Hello, I'm Jerry Waterworth, a volunteer with AERP Arizona's Community Education Program. And welcome to another update in our series of scam jams with information provided by the AARP Fraud Watch Network. Today's topic is sometimes those who give take. There's nothing more important than knowing that your loved one is being properly cared for. Unfortunately, some of those who provide this care take advantage of the opportunity to line their own pockets. Here are some signs of caregiver financial exploitation and tips for protecting against it. First, be present. Regularly check in with both the caregiver and the care recipient to ensure the quality of care. You can make unannounced visits, and if you're not local, see if a trusted friend or family member can do it for you. Also, use technology to be present even when you physically can't be. If your loved one will allow it, install one or more video cameras in the home to monitor quality of care and for theft. Second, secure valuables and monitor transactions. You should inventory valuables in the home. Keep smaller items like jewelry locked up at all times. Also limit the in-home caregiver's access to cash, checkbooks, and credit cards. If their job includes shopping or errands, use one card that you can closely monitor or give them a prepaid debit card that you can reload. Also, contact your loved one's financial institution to arrange for view-only access to their accounts or sign them up for view-only monitoring services like Eversafe or Careful. The third, watch for warning signs. That might be large, frequent, or unexplained bank withdrawals or funds transfers, changing from a basic bank account to one with more complicated services, there might be a new person conducting financial transactions on a loved one's behalf without proper documentation. Also, any checks that are written as loans or gifts or have suspicious looking signatures. You may also see sudden overdrafts or unpaid bills. Or finally, any changes to wills, trusts, or powers of attorney are sure red flags. So where can you go for help? If you suspect caregiver fraud or theft, please contact the police and your local Adult Protective Services Agency. You may also check the AARP website, aarp.org slash fraudwatchnetworks for updates on this and other scams. You can also call the AARP Fraud Helpline at 877-908-3360 to speak with an individual. Now remember, knowledge gives you power over scams. And thank you for joining us today. And we hope to see you soon for another of our scam up updates from AARP Arizona and the AARP Fraud Watch Network. Thanks again. Have a great day.